Okay, so in this video we're going to be taking apart this um, Toshiba laptop. Okay, the reason we're doing this is, one, it's really fun um, to take apart laptops. I don't know if you've ever tried it, but it's great. Number two, it's going to help when we talk about individual parts of the laptop. Um, it'll be really nice to see where they kind of fit in. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do this um, tomorrow. We're going to be doing some research about the different parts. But for right now, all you need to do is kind of see where everything happens. So started, I already took out the battery. Okay, and now uh, hopefully you can see there's a couple different compartments here. And I'm just going to start by taking those, removing those. One of the compartments is going to be RAM. Um, I, uh, okay, so I've only uh, taken apart one other laptop and it was an HP. I'm guessing it's going to be the same. So one of these will be RAM. One is going to be the hard drive. Nope, look, that one's the RAM. Okay. And then one is probably going to be the wireless internet card. Don't know. Luckily, we have the technology of fast forward. So if this takes a while, you don't have to sit here and watch me do all this. And I'm gonna get my smaller screwdriver. Okay, so if you would like, you can get a computer that your family, you know, doesn't use anymore, it's broken, and you can do this yourself. All you need is a uh, all you need is a screwdriver, any, any kind of screwdriver. I have a big one and a small one, and I've got this itty bitty one just in case. Uh, it'll be this one next. Oh, here it is. This is the hard drive. Okay, so before we unscrew more things, we're just going to take these things out. So this, make sure you can see it, this is the hard drive. So now we can take that part off and you can see the actual hard drive. This guy I think is the internet, the wireless internet card, so we need to unscrew that. There we go. So there's the wireless internet card. Now let's take out the RAM. Okay. So to take out the RAM, you just kind of move these little metal parts over, and then it just pops right out. So there's one stick of RAM. Let me see that up close. It's pretty cool. It's got stickers on it. Well, you can take those off later. Anyway, there's two sticks of RAM in here. And I know a lot of people replace this or add more RAM if they computers are acting up kind of slow, if the computers are acting slow. Um, oh, I guess I'm not going to take that off. <laughs> anyway, there are the two RAM sticks. Okay, now I'm going to speed this up because basically what I'm going to be doing is taking off all of these screws and it's going to take a while. So I'm going to do that and then we'll see what's underneath here. I have all of the screws out now, all of them along the back. And for this, we might have to move the camera, okay? Alright, so I'm still trying to convince this top part to come off, but while I was working on that, the, um, the CD, the DVD, the disc drive just kind of popped out on its own, so I've got that. So this silver case kind of part is going to pop right off. Keyboard's going to come and right forward. Okay, so you can see the keyboard is connected by this ribbon cable. Um, and to get that out, we really just have to kind of tug on it from the computer. And now we have our keyboard. 
keyboard. Okay. It appears as though this should just pop right off. Oh, that was it, I think. So now we've got this plastic part, we've got the motherboard underneath, and we have the screen. And they're all kind of connected by these cords. So I'm going to take what appears to be masking tape and take that off and just kind of disconnect everything. Okay, now the screen should come off. Now I have the screen. So this uh, plastic part, look at me, screws everywhere. Once again, I'm just gonna have to move some of these wires around to get this piece off. Looks like there's just one still connected here. Great. So here's the plastic. You can see this part was where, you know, you put your hand. Here's the actual um, mouse pad. You can see underneath where that was connected. Okay, so this isn't super exciting for us. This is mostly plastic, so I'm gonna put this aside. Okay, so there's a couple things to look at here. First of all, you can see the fan right here. Let's see where I left out. This was where the CD uh, drive was. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can take this piece out. I'm pretty sure I can get this blue piece out. And then we'll be able to look at it up close a little better. Let's see all this tape all over. All right, so let me fast forward while I kind of maneuver this guy out, but I'm guessing it's just gonna be more screws. Okay, so here's something cool. Um, you can see on the side of the computer, the two USB ports. I can pull this piece out. Okay, so you can see where your flash drive kind of would go in. Right here is the um, adapter for, where it, for, the, for the battery. And I think we'll be able to pull it out. There we go. Okay, so there's where your battery goes, plug it in. Okay, so I've taken out the fan, which is super gross, and what's more gross is the dust bunnies that you can see in there. I'm not gonna give you a close up of that. Okay, so this blue part with the motherboard is close to coming out. broke like a ton of things but all right there's a motherboard so what you can see underneath is a large dust bunny and the bottom of the laptop so here's where the fan is first you can see uh, right here was the fan so if you play video games for a long time that's where you'd hear it, feel that hot air coming out this is where the fan was and I'm guessing this is the heat sink Fairly certain. Okay, so in class, we're going to be talking about the individual parts of the computer. For right now, this was just um, helpful so you can remember where the different parts come from um, and understand how they all work together to allow you to browse the internet and play computer games and check your Facebook.